हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित वेलकम टू आर चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड बीएससी अंडर दिस टॉपिक ऑफ ग्राफ थ्योरी आई हैव अपलोडेड अ लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट टुडे आई एम हियर टू गाइड यू ऑन हाउ टू कलर द ग्राफ्स हियर वी विल एक्सप्लोर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्रोमेटिक नंबर एंड क्रोमेटिक ग्राफ्स आई विल एक्सप्लेन दीज कॉन्सेप्ट टू यू प्लीज लिसन अटेंटिवली All the vertices of graph with colors, such that no two adjacent vertices have the same color, is called a coloring of graph. Right? So now let us consider a graph where two vertices are connected by an edge. Ensure that if one vertex is colored, any adjacent vertex must be assigned a different color, as they are connected by an edge. If two vertices are connected by an edge, then how will they be colored? They must be colored with different colors at their end points. Right? we will learn here how many colors we can use inside any graph why is this so because that's where the concept of chromatic number comes from i will show you by coloring it here if i have to color this graph then i will color one end point of this graph in purple can you see it and the second end i am coloring it red so here how many colors am i using i am using two colors so we have a complete graph here within this graph how many colors can i use now pay attention here now i can see that since this edge connects here and also connects here i will use a different color for this vertex what will we do let's say i will choose red since i have already chosen red for this vertex and it's connected to both vertexes and this one then what will i do now so i will need to select a different color here to avoid using red again in a complete graph with three vertices which are all connected to each other which color will we use we will need to use three different colors students let's discuss this graph it's important to note that this graph is not complete because not all vertices are connected to each other if every vertex is connected to every other vertex we have a complete graph the number of colors used is 4 which equals the number of vertices but since that's not the case here we need to reconsider now if i choose red for this vertex right since i cannot use the red one elsewhere so now i will use purple for this vertex so since i have chosen purple here i can also use purple for this vertex because they are not connected now if we use this color here we will need to choose a different color for this vertex the current coloring requires three colors indicating that we need to use three colors in total let's move on to the next point if i talk in front of you and now if i decide to use this color for one vertex now if i take this color then i can also use it for another vertex because they are not connected to each other if i use this color here then for this next one i will use blue so i can take this next one here i will have to take these two colors separately we need to use a different color let's say i choose this color for this vertex then i'll select this one for the next i can use this color because these vertices are not connected to each other right the total number of colors used here is 3 so this will be our three chromatic graph if we will study it Let's discuss the chromatic number concept it represents minimum number of colors required to color graph such that no two adjacent vertices share the same color for example as shown here we will use two colors to achieve this as mentioned earlier as well we start with red for one end for the second end we use a different color this demonstrates that a minimum of two colors is used so this forms a two chromatic graph similarly for this case now if i choose this color i can also use it here because these vertices are not connected to each other right so i took red here now if i take red here then i have to take different color here right let's say suppose i chose the color purple how many numbers of colors will we use so we are using three colors for coloring here which gives us a chromatic number of 3 okay now moving forward like i am discussing about this because we have the whole complete graph here so every vertex's color here will be different right because each vertex here is connected to every other vertex like this Let's discuss this. I will use this color. I will need to use a different color for this vertex. Okay? I have chosen this color. And next, I have this color here which is black, right? There are four distinct colors used here. Therefore, what will be its chromatic number? It will be 4. We solve this question in this way. We'll talk about the chromatic number of graph which is denoted by the symbol jg. The minimum number of colors used in any graph is its chromatic number and we denote it using the symbol jg. If jg is equal to k the graph is called k chromatic in a graph where we use minimum two colors it is two chromatic if we use three colors then it is three chromatic the chromatic number of a null graph is 1 if we have a null graph then the graph will have only one vertex 
if we have only one vertex in the graph, it will be a null graph and we can use just one color to color it. Moving on further, so now we will discuss about the next concept and what is the concept. The chromatic number of a complete graph kn of n vertices is n, I just told you that. So, for example, if I take this here, we have a clear graph here, which is a complete graph. Is it right? It is complete. Why is it so? Because each vertex is connected to every other vertex here. Now, in this graph, we are using four colors, which gives it a chromatic number of four. Therefore, it is referred to as a four chromatic graph, right? In the same way, if we take a triangle here, we know that each vertex is connected to the other vertex. Now, what will we have students? We will have three vertices and what will it be? Each vertex will be colored differently. If the graph is circuit, what is said next? Fifth point, if the graph is circuit with n vertices, then it is two chromatic if n is even. If we have a closed graph, it is known as a circuit. I have already uploaded a video on this topic. You can find it in I tab for more details. It is two chromatic if n is even and it is three chromatic if n is odd. So, we have these vertices. How many vertices do we have students? Six. This is an even vertex. If it is an even vertex, then what will it be? It will be two chromatic, right? If I color this vertex red, then I can also color this one red as they are not connected to each other. This is because vertices are not connected to each other. So, we can keep the color the same, right? As I mentioned earlier, in this case, we can use this color here and this color here. Therefore, we can say this graph is a two chromatic graph. If we talk about this now, then observe if I took this color here and then this color here, I can't take it anywhere else. If I take this purple one here, it will connect. Four vertices that are connected here, we cannot use the same color. But then which color can we use? So, they must be different colors. Okay, I've got this here, right. So, I can take this color because this is not connecting. But here I have to take another color now again. So, I will take another color here, right. So, if I take one more color and use it here, then what happens to the vertex, students? It becomes odd, right? Because of odd vertex, what will we have here? A three chromatic graph. So, we need to pay attention to this. So, students, now let us understand the next question. What does it say here? Determine the chromatic number of the graph. Let us see how many vertices are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, as this has an odd vertex here, this will become three chromatic, right? Because we have a closed circuit. Let us say I colored this vertex red, then I will also color this one red and this one red as well. I will not color the rest of the vertex red because if I do so, then the rest of the vertex will connect. I am coloring this one purple and also this one purple and this one purple too. So, listen here I have to do something other than purple, right? And if I take another color for this here, let us say I take this one. We are using three colors in total. So, therefore, this graph is a three chromatic graph and its chromatic number is three. We will discuss the next concept. What is that concept? We have to find chromatic number of the graph. What do you have to find chromatic number? So, let us start by taking this one, right? Let us assume I chose the red one. Now, which color can I use here? I can again use red here. See, this is here as they are not connecting and I have already used red. Now, I cannot use red for any of these as they are all connected to each other, right? So, let us talk about the next color. Let us say now I take another color which is purple, right? I will get this one purple if I get this one purple as well. Then I can also get this one purple and I have got this one purple too. Why? Since these are not connected, okay? Now, we will say that I have taken this next color. Let us take this one as the next color. So, I can take this one and I can take this one, right? Here, the minimum number of colors we are using are three. So, this will be three chromatic colors and the chromatic number is three, clear? This is how we solve this question. So, let us see the next question. So, the question is asking what are the chromatic numbers of the two graphs G and H. Suppose here I will. Since I have already used this color, I can use it here. But I cannot use it here because this vertex is connected to vertex H. So, next I will take a different color. Now, I took this one red. I can take this one also red, right? Yes, they are not connecting to each other. But I need to take another color. Otherwise, it will cause a problem. So, listen, here I am taking a different color for this. What will we have then? We will have a three chromatic graph and its chromatic number will be three. If we talk about this, now in this graph, I am using this particular color here. If I take this, I can then take this here as they are not connecting. As I have chosen this color, I cannot use it anywhere else. It would cause problem. However, I can use it in these three vertices. That covers everything. We will talk about next thing. Let us take the next color. If I take this red here, so I take red here as they are not connecting with each other. So, first I can take red here, 
but after that I can't take another red because it will be a problem then. Further we will talk about the next color. Let's take another color here. We will take this one. I mean I will take purple. If I take purple, then I can also take purple here as they are not connected with each other. We need another color here, otherwise it won't work. So let me take yellow here, right. Now as you are watching, I will choose yellow. How many colors are we using here? We are using just one color. We start with two, then we move to three and finally the fourth color, right? Okay. This is our four chromatic number and is called four chromatic graph. In this question, find the chromatic number of the graph. You are being asked what is the chromatic number of this graph. You can do it easily. Let's assume I am making this red. We can make this red too. If we do red here, then we can't do it anywhere else as it may create a problem. Now if I did it here, I can do this in red because they are not connected to each other. If I will do this one red, I can do this one red as well. Is it right? Now we will discuss what other possibilities can be for the other colors. So what will they be? I'll use the remaining color here and for this vertex, I'll choose purple. So if I use purple here, I can also use it here. And now I don't see any other option beside this one. So next we will take another color, the second one. Okay, let's choose another color. This one, right? I will use the blue one. Now this vertex is blue and this one will also be blue. Why is this so? They are same because they are not connected to each other. Here we have used three colors, red, purple and then blue, making it three. So this becomes a three chromatic graph and the chromatic number will be three. Students, thank you so much for watching. Please answer this question in the comment box. What type of chromatic graph do we have? And how much time did it take you to solve this question? Please comment. Here you can find the entire playlist of discrete mathematics. I will be uploading many short tricks for you on my new channel. You can check out more content here. Follow me on Instagram for updates. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Please leave your answer in the comment box. Thank you.